Daryl Bach, who is world-renowned New Testament scholar and who is the Executive Director for Cultural Engagement at the Hendricks Center at Dallas Theological Seminary. We've been honored to have him here at Liberty giving lectures, and we've stolen some of his time to talk to us this morning, uh, or where, whatever time it is, wherever you're listening to this, is about cultural engagement. First of all, what is cultural engagement? Uh, tell, tell our listeners and, and viewers that. Well, I think cultural engagement is simply an extension of mission that uh, we're called to go into the world to share the gospel, uh, to make disciples. And in that process, you inevitably run into the culture that you are dealing with as a part of the conversation that you have. You have to engage the culture both in terms of where it is, where people are as a result. And so the goal is simply to engage them in a way that is helpful in getting uh, across the message of the gospel and the good news about Jesus Christ. Okay. So some people would hear the word cultural engagement and they think, well, that's not for the church. That's our, we're about uh, the, the Great Commission. We're about evangelizing. And they hear cultural engagement and they think that's something a little, that's something different, something really maybe shouldn't be doing or shouldn't be paying attention to. And to that you say, Paul did talk about idols in the culture that he lived in. Uh, Paul did engage with the values that uh, the culture reflects and challenging people not to live in a way that reflects the culture around them. Paul did engage the culture with ways that communicated their spiritual sensitivities as a way of drawing them to the gospel. So there's just a variety of ways in which you can engage people about culture and about cultural experience that shows that God is involved in every aspect of life no matter where you live. Okay, so what I hear you saying is that it actually, in order to, to share the gospel effectively, we have to know something about the culture, where we're going to share it at. So I know that that's, that's one part of cultural engagement. Is there another part in cultural engagement where we're, where we're actually, and I, I, think, I think you will say yes, so I'm just kind of setting you up for this, okay. Daryl, but what's the other leg as far as, is it actually good to, to work to do social justice and these other issues, which, and then how do we connect that to the gospel, or is that, should that be separated from the gospel, or how do these things go together? I don't know how we ever got to the point where we separated those things, that our witness about how we live before people, how we care about people is very much a part of our testimony. In fact, one of the most powerful testimonies we can have to the reconciliation that God brings through the gospel is to show God's care and love for people that exist around them. Jesus was known for ministering to people in the marginalized as he went about sharing the kingdom of God. And in the midst of that, he was showing that God cared for people. He was bringing credibility to the message that he had that said that he cared and said that God cared. So we should reflect the example of Jesus in the way that we minister and that's what we're called to do. So this split between real gospel and social gospel I think is a false one provided our ministry is directed towards uh, towards making a point that God cares about people and we care about people too. Yeah. 